Natalie, and it is September 2013. September 2013. And we are at the Miami Belly Dance Convention. Convention. Yes, at the Miami Belly Dance Convention. Um, very happy to have you guys here again. So let's talk about when I get when I came to the United States. I was 16. I started working not as a dancer, just to pay my bills. I did babysitting, um, delivery girl for food and stuff. I did work, just regular work. And um, one day, of course, I missed my dancing a lot, but I, I didn't know anyone here. I didn't know where to go. So one day I went to eat to a Greek restaurant here, very well-known Greek restaurant here in, in Miami. It's called Taverna Opa. And I was actually sitting there with some, some friends that I knew, and there was a belly dancer dancing. She put me up on the table uh, to dance with her. And when I danced, I guess the owners were at the restaurant, and they saw me perform and well, dancing with her. And then they came up to me uh, to ask me if I would like to audition to work at the place. Huh. And um, it was really fun. Who so, was the dancer? Um, I believe her name was Aisha. I believe she was also Argentinian um, with Turkish descent, but she was also living she was living in the United States for a very, very long time. Okay. Um, so when when they asked me to audition, I actually came in the following week. I auditioned, and in my audition alone, people loved it. I used to work, I mean, I, I made so much money in tips that night, and the owner really liked my audition, and he said he wanted me there the next night, and the next night, and the next night. <laughs> so I ended up working like seven nights a week. Um, of course, I quit every other job. I was making a lot more money, and I was doing what I loved. Mm -hmm. So that's how my career kind of develops as a belly dancer here. I started doing and, the restaurant uh, performances. And was Aisha also dancing? She was also dancing there, so we would divide the shifts. Okay. Um, and after, uh, there was only two more dancers in there. Uh, I don't recall their names, but after that, there was, there was kind of like, everybody kind of like started going their own ways, and the owner kind of kept me as the main dancer. So I was actually dancing seven nights a week from 7 p.m. all the way to like 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. So it was really tough, um, but I danced every day. And was I didn't there mind I uh, musicians? There was no musicians, but that's how I met Ozzy from the Belly Dance Evolution because he would come to the restaurant to eat and he would bring his drum and just start drumming all the time. And then he would drum for me there at the place. So it was a lot of, a lot of fun. And so you met Ozzy? I met Ozzy, the drummer of the Belly Dance Evolution from Jelena and Dad. So it was a lot of fun. Um, but then, yes, I, da I danced pretty much seven days a week. And that's how my career develops because I met a lot of women. They would ask me if I do parties, if I teach. Mm -hmm. And in that, in that sense, I didn't have you know, no career. Like, I was just dancing for money to, to right. make a living. Right. Um, but when people would ask me if I would teach, I said, well, maybe I should start teaching. And so what I would do is, like, I would say, no, I don't teach, but I can go to your house and show you some moves if you want. So I started kind of, like, developing students Did you like that. take... Classes from teachers here? At that moment, I was not. I was just dancing. And I, I started like teaching like some girls that I would meet at the restaurant, would we'll mm -hmm. go to their house, mm -hmm. and there would be like a group of three girls, and I would teach them. So, did you eventually take lessons? Yes. And Who did then you take one from? One day, I met the first dancer here that I met was Boshenka. Mm. I was actually. Uh, dancing at the restaurant, Boshenka came with a group of students and she was uh, with a big table and I pulled all of the girls up to dance because they were with the coin belts. Uh -huh. and when I pulled Boshenka up to dance, I was mesmerized by her. And I asked her, I said, oh my God, are you a teacher? And she said, yes. Uh, we have a studio, the Mid-Eastern Dance Exchange uh, with Tamalin Dalal, she owns it. And that's how I actually bumped into this belly dance community here in Miami. I contacted them, I went to Tamalin, I started taking classes with Tamalin Dalal. 
continued taking classes with Boschenka, started getting involved in the group. I remember Irene was there, um, Shahar was there, Hanan was there, a lot of dancers known here from Miami were uh, there. Samai mm-hmm, mm-hmm. was not there, but that's how I got to meet her as well through the through Tamalinda Lao, the Miss, Miss Great. Dan- Dance Exchange. And um, so, yes, I started taking classes with them, performing in their shows, and mm-hmm. little by little, that's how the career, my career Excellent. developed. Excellent. Yeah. Did you ever take from Jihan Jamal? I did. I actually took classes from Jihan Jamal. That's truthfully, Minister Dance Exchange was what opened the doors for me to meet all the other dancers and to know who these women were because I really was, didn't know. And, um, but I did took a lot of classes with them, got really involved with all of their shows that used to do Orientalia and Great. all of these shows they used to do. So I perform every year there and Great. took workshops. Did you take from Virginia? I did take, like I took a few classes with Virginia, but most of it was private classes. I would take like one or two privates and maybe did some classes, uh, uh, group classes, but I was more involved already. I, I think Virginia was part of the Minister and Dance Exchange, but then she kind of like separated in her own way so I was kind of more involved into the school um, so I did took a few classes with Virginia but I, I, I don't recall being a, a whole you know a, a student all the time okay. there Monday to Fridays but yes with Tamalin and, and Boschenka and everybody else yeah okay we'll be back with part three